For this little wings project, I'm going to start with a cube. So right click and select cube. And then I'm just going to use the mouse wheel to uh, zoom back a bit so I can see where the Z axis is and the X axis is. And on the X axis side, I'm going to select one of these edges and then press G to extend them right around the cube. Then right click and bevel. And while holding the control key down and looking at the number in the top left hand corner, I'm going to select 0.6. So that's created this shape. Press space to deselect those faces go to the face select tool and select one of these end faces and use the I key to select the identical face on the other side. There's a W key which allows you to switch between the wireframe view and solid view and that allows you to see that the other face has indeed been selected. So that was just toggling the W key. Right click again and mirror to extend that. So I'll do it with the wireframe view selected so you can see this time. So wireframe view select one end and use the I key to select the other end and then right click and mirror. I'll just press W again to make it solid. Okay, so this is my rod that I'm now going to taper. So I'm going to select the entire shape, switch to the vertex selection mode, right click, deform and taper. And I'm going to taper it along the Z axis. That's just why I was paying attention to the Z axis. So uh, I'll just uh, taper it like that sort of shape. Okay. The next step is to bend this around in a circle. So that's right click and select bend. And then you've got a series of instructions that appear in the bottom left hand corner here. So they pick the rod center. So that's going to be there. So select that and then right click to continue. Now I want the rod top. So I'll say that's there. So select that and right click to continue. And now we need to select where the normal is. So that's the final step. Now if I select this face, it'll curl along this side, which means that this edge will meet that one there. And I want it to curl up so that this fits into the middle of the end face. So to do that, I need a normal that's in the middle where the Y axis is. To achieve that, if I select one of these edges, you can see that the blue line, which has appeared just there before I started moving, it uh, represents the normal direction. If I select this one next to it, it flips it around. And you can see that the normal is coming off where the Y axis is, which is where I wanted it. So right click to execute that. And now I can curl this around and you'll see that the faces line up and fit together, which is what I was aiming for. So I'll just curl it around so that fits in somewhat. Left click to uh, set that position. And now I'll set the entire shape. So I'll select the entire shape and press S to smooth it once. OK. And now I want this end to be hollow so it can accept the other end. So I'll just select these faces on the end, rotate around so I can see the other side. I can't use identical because they're no longer identical because of the um, deformation caused by uh, bending it around in a circle. And right click and intrude that so it makes it hollow. And then go to select inverse selection and press minus and minus again so it comes back off this outer edge so I've just got the outer skin selected up to this line here then switch to the vertex mode again right click and I'll bevel that to and just bevel it to its maximum extent so you can see you've got all these little uh, diamonds that have appeared on its surface and right click and extrude normal and just to extrude it a bit right click and extrude normal again then use the plus key to extend the selection and right click and extrude normal again and then use the minus key to reduce the selection. Now at this point if I was to rotate these on their Y axis because the face selected each of the faces would turn round but if I go into the vertex mode again and, and then I go right click and rotate on the Y axis they all move around the central Y axis of this model or so it seems anyway. So at this point I'll just pull these around to the right as I'm looking from above. So pull them back so it makes like uh, scales and then select the entire object and press smooth. So that's S key and smooth again. And then if I press A it centers it on the shape and you can get some idea of what we've got here. So that's my uh, little curled up shape that's like uh, an Our Ouroboros sort of shape but uh, obviously I haven't formed a snake's head there because that would take quite a while I imagine and uh, my modeling skills are only fairly basic so there you go that's a, the, this, this steps to create this shape whatever we're going to call it
obviously there's some collision between the geometries where things are getting close together and there might be different strategies you could take to uh, to separate that out but I wanted a, a process that would take about five minutes so there you go that's the end of the video hope you found this interesting and fun and that you'll have a go at modeling this shape in uh, Wings 3D cheers now